Good morning. Let's take a moment to welcome each other in this celebration, as well as those who are praying with us on live stream. And as we have welcomed each other, we also take this occasion to lift each other up in prayer, confident in the love of God who hears each one of us and listens. To him we also pray for the peace that we long for, the end of violence of all kind against humanity, especially the unborn, remembering as well to pray for the poor families that struggle, victims of tragedies and calamities. Our entrance song this Monday is 597, O God, You Search Me. O God, you search me and you know me. All my thoughts lie open to your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me. Ever the maker and keeper of my days. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. And with love everlasting you besiege me. In every moment of life or death you are. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And as we gather this morning, we also gather and present before our Lord and Savior our faults, our sins, that we may be forgiven and be restored by His grace as we pray. You raise us to new life, Kiri Elehi Son, Kiri Elehi Son. You forgive our sins, Christe Elehi Son, Christe Elehi Son. Lead us with your body and blood. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to thank God always for you, brothers and sisters, as a fitting, because your faith flourishes evermore, and the love of every one of you for one another grows even greater. Accordingly, we ourselves boast of you in the churches of God, regarding your endurance and faith 
in all your persecutions and the afflictions you endure. This is evidence of the just judgment of God, so that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. We always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith. That the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and in him in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Please respond. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds and, his, and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when, that hap and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obliged. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obliged. <laughs> you blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And one who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. I've never had the propensity or the desire or attraction to play video games. 
That's why I remember when I was in the seminary, and the seminarians were trying to teach me how to play video games so that I can play with them. And they would give, tell me the tricks and things that I have to do so that I go from one stage to the other. What I end up doing is always killing myself in the video or crashing whatever, uh, whatever airplane or spaceship. And they would say, you just don't get it, Father. I said, I'm sorry. I probably really didn't have any attraction to it. And you can sense the same way that the seminarians were frustrated with me because I just don't get it, nor do I want to get it. I just don't tell them, I don't want to play this. That's why I crash myself. And that's why I always say, how many lives do I still have? Two, okay. <laughs> then you minus until they say, okay, we don't want to play with you. And I think it's the same frustration that Jesus felt with the Pharisees. We all know how all throughout his public ministry, he was trying to reach out to them, sometimes in a very direct manner, sometimes in a manner by which he answers their questions to the point that they can no longer, uh, they can, they have, that it silences them. Or sometimes like what we hear in the gospel today, a direct assault on who they are, a direct revelation of who they are. These are part of, if we have the Beatitudes, we have the seven woes, part of which is mentioned by our Lord Jesus in the gospel today. And we see the struggle because they were never, they never accepted our Lord Jesus in the first place. They never accepted John the Baptist when he was calling people to repentance so that they can prepare the way for the Lord. So if they did not do that, how can they accept or recognize or be open to the Lord when he comes? Sometimes in our faith life, we get comfortable in our own spaces. Sometimes in our faith life, we no longer give an opening for the Spirit to work in us, for the Spirit to manifest itself and guide us. In our first reading, at the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, he was recognizing the faith of the Thessalonians. He was recognizing how through their faith and how their, through their efforts of living up to their calling and faith, they're giving glory and praise to God. However, he cautioned them too to continue listening to God, to continue allowing the Spirit to guide them, much as it is with us. May we not have the attitude of the Pharisees that we already know it all, the arrogance that they have that they know better than God, and the closeness of their hearts to the reaching, outreaching love of God. Jesus, our Lord, pronounced woes on the scribes and Pharisees on account of their hypocrisy. Let us pray that we may avoid hypocrisy in all its forms. With confidence, we pray. Our response, <clears throat> Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. May preachers, pastors, and teachers not dilute the purity of the gospel by subjecting it to the interests of the rich and the powerful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. May priests always <clears throat> uphold the dignity and holiness of the sacrament and sacred objects and avoid the danger of unsimony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. May the faithful shun preachers who deviate from the truth taught by the church, deceivers who themselves are deceived. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. May we be faithful to our word and our promises, not resorting to swearing or by using the name of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. May the church open the door of mercy and <clears throat> allow entry to those who search of God or those who would like to return to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. 
As we bow our heads, we lift up in the silence of our hearts, our prayers and intentions for our families and our loved ones. And we lift up the intentions for whom this Mass is offered for the eternal repose of the soul of Generoso Sevilla. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. And for the intentions we have received, for Gerald King, Elijah Ablero, Mitsuki Okada, Deacon Ricardo Barraza, Herman Roa, and Amalia Stobley, we pray to the Lord. Lord, help <clears throat> us to shun hypocrisy. For those in need of strength, healing, and comfort, Pearl Breen, Tom Haas, Arcangela Moren, Margarita Mandujano, Mary Ojeda, Rosendo Rimando, Rico and Lisa Casillas, Lorenzo Moran, Bruce DiCarlo, Vlad Anderson, Maggie Rosales, Irvi Poblete, Anthony Nguyen, Aurelio Lopez, and Juan Gomez, we pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. And for our dearly departed, for Gish Pham Duk Bong, for Eric Metzmeyer, for Tetsuo Okada, Manny Rivera, June Ancheta, Baby Emmeline Borgonio, Howard D., Beatrice Reyes, Father Marco Hernandez, Father Mark Beard, Father Thomas Frietas, and Roderick Roa, we pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to shun hypocrisy. Lord our God, you open your kingdom to all. Let us open our hearts to our brothers and sisters and go out to those who are far off or to those who have gone astray. May they be one fold under one shepherd through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, 
plenisum celi et terra, gloria tua. O sana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, O sana in excelsis. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this case we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save a Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, and Lord, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Commune Antiphon, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day. For those unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, take a moment for the spiritual communion prayer.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perf perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. To our loving Mother, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to St. Joseph, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted this only Son, in your merry place or trust, with you Christ for secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is the servant song. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song. Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord.